which has to do with the church you attend. How vibrant is the church in dispensing the word? Because you can't talk about genuine success in life without talking about the word of God. Now, the number one factor that determines your success in life is God, who has to do with the church, your spiritual environment. The other factor that have been considered has to do with the person you get married to. The person you get married to has a lot to do with how long you're going to live in this life, how successful you're going to become. And that is why in the school of success, they have played, they have placed premium on who to get married to. Marriage is not something you just jump into it because you are not big physically. No. Marriage is something that you have to adequately prepare for if you're going to do well in it. Marriage failure equals destiny failure. Marriage failure equals destiny failure. And it bleeds my heart because marriage is so important that God pays attention to marriage, but people don't take time to study about marriage. Listening to this in an institution is defined that before you go into marriage, you must read at least, at least, if you didn't read at all, seven books about marriage. But these days we see young people go into marriage without knowing anything, Jack, about marriage. I just see this person, I love this person, I like the way he behaves, I love everything about him, and I think that is good enough to get married to. No. 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 There are things you must know. That is why I encourage us to pay attention. Even though you are married, you must still keep learning about marriage. You don't graduate from learning about marriage. It's a lifetime learning. Am I talking to someone here? A couple was married for 67 years. And uh, one day the husband woke up and told the wife, he said, you don't know anything about me. And the woman was shocked because they've been married for 67 years. And the woman responded to the man and said, we've been married for quite some decades right now. And the, the man smiled. And he responded back to the woman. He said, as far as my life, you must keep learning about me every day. Does that make sense to somebody here? That is married, when it comes to married relationship, there, there is a thing that you have to sit down and groom yourself and learn and relearn to be able to do well in it. It's not every young people, young ladies, young men that do well in marriage. You have to consciously tell yourself that I'm going to learn. I'm going to learn. I'm going to relearn. And listen to this. In this part of the country, people don't place value on knowledge. I'm telling the truth. I want to say something that's going to shock you right now. The success of your marriage has nothing to do with who you get married to. Write that down. The success of your marriage, I'm not talking about the success of life. The success of life has something to do with who you get married to. But the success of the marriage has nothing to do with who you get married to. There are laws that makes marriage work. And in this first section, in this marriage class, by the help of the Holy Spirit, we'll be doing justice to some of the laws and uh, some certain things that you need to know to be able to do well in your marital life. I've heard ladies complain to me, complain to people that I've heard from far and close by that they, they never knew the guy they got married to. It's common. It's a common complaint. Some of you that are married, you have said that quite a number of times. Some of you even said things like, this was not the guy I was dating. Some of you even looked at the guy and said things like, you were pretending to me, oh, that's why. No, that's not the truth. But I trust God that within these two days, somebody's understanding will blossom. If you believe it, you say louder, amen here. Amen. I, I wrote something here and I said, it takes the family to make a great nation. It takes the family to make a great nation. It takes the family to make a great community. Why? Everybody you see in the community today came from a family. Am I right? Talk to me. Am I right? Good. Now, in this first section of this Singles Married and Love Conference, we will be looking at who should I marry? Now, listen to this. 
I'll be, I'll be looking at that and I'll be touching some certain things for those that are married. That is, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be dua operating tonight. I'll be touching this side, I'll be touching this side and all that for those that are married that are here. Now because...